Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. You guys have been asking for this model ever since you saw it last year in the book of Boba Fett. This, this is going to be Din Djarin's N1 as a custom Lego minifigure scale model from the designer, David Buckles. My name is David Buchholz. Have I been saying that wrong? From the designer, David Buckles. Designer, David Buckles. David Buckles. 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 David Buchholz or Dave's Customs on Instagram, or David Buggles, how Americans pronounce it. Okay, maybe not Buggles, hopefully. I didn't say it that bad. But with a little bit of inspiration from Intert's original Naboo N1 custom build, the designer David Buckles has put together the dusted off, retrofitted, turbo boosted blast from the past as a Lego build. And I'm gonna take you on the journey of putting that model together. Normally, when I put together a model for the web store, this is my build space, but it is currently occupied by a large project. Fortunately, the N1 is small enough for me to set up a build space in front of where I edit, so I'll build this model out while listening to a podcast, maybe about how AI is going to possibly take over the world. The instructions are available at brickvault.toys. With each purchase comes a PDF step-by-step -step building guide, and now all of our pieces are organized. It comes with a parts list so you can order everything online without any issues. And now let's begin the build. We physically test each model like I am doing right now. I've got a bit of the nose done. You can see a little bit of where the seat's gonna be and the afterburner in the back. We also test the instructions for the ease of build. So you see this little side assembly. I've actually just made a couple of notes that'll probably change the way these areas get attached to the model for the final configuration. Wings are coming in nicely and the parts that we use to build models are chosen with availability in mind on the brick buying market. This means we try to avoid the overly rare parts that can be difficult to acquire. Looks like I was missing a couple of pieces for the build. Thank you Destiny's Bounty for your sacrifice. is quite an engine assembly. Din Djarin's N1 kind of hits that sweet spot for a lot of fans old and new. It's one of the cooler ships from the prequels, so a fun throwback's always great. This is a custom refit upgrade from the Naboo version, making it much more capable than meets the eye. That is a long-standing theme in Star Wars, and plainly, it just looks cool. It's both sleek and elegant, but also mixed with a dirty hot rod. You think this circular thing here in the front looks like one of those chromed out air filters on an old muscle car on accident? No, the designers definitely knew what they were doing when they were putting this together. There are exposed panels all over the body revealing what's inside. Some of that might be maybe circumstantial, like the guys didn't have all the pieces they needed when putting it together, but it could also be argued that it might be logistical as well, like the armor paneling isn't maybe super effective in certain areas, so it's just easier to keep off, maybe even adding some new tech while you're there along the way. Plus, it's a convenience thing, like for regular maintenance to get into the guts. This is really similar to how the Rebels utilized the old Y-Wings. But now let's get down to the studs of the matter. This N1 is very different 
from Intert's original, and uh, the differences should be pretty darn apparent. There's tons and tons of changes, a lot of which are cosmetic, like the base color, for example. But the closer you look, there's all different kinds of greebles. Extra areas are extruding out, like the afterburner in the back and the guns in the front. And big portions of the structure itself have also been reworked both internally and externally. And this makes a pretty unique bit of construction through and through. The tail uses a lot of different pieces and techniques. I actually really like how the pointy tail is able to be integrated, I think just a little bit better now. If you get right into the middle of the model, like the insides, right in the core, this N1 actually uses some Lord of the Rings rings for a tight bit of stud reversal, which was both unexpected, but very necessary once you figure out how it's getting used. And then when we get to the engines, they are just wildly different. David took a pretty old gear piece and then a fairly new piece and found an extremely unconventional connection. It allows for a bit more gaps to appear here and there, but mostly here and there, <laughs> while still retaining the essence of that narrow cylindrical shape. This is by far the most difficult part of the model to construct, but I think you get some great, somewhat hidden details from this area of the build that you wouldn't otherwise have. Now the rear dome for Grogu is actually held in by friction here. You can pop off this windscreen to get the child in and out. He can sit somewhat deep into the seat here to avoid bending his ears. Or what I like to do is actually wedge him up at a slight angle with his head cocked a little bit and you get a little bit more height and face time here with the kid and it still preserves the ears from bending. This I think here was a very happy compromise considering any wider of a windscreen in this area really throws off a lot of the dimensions for the whole model. Oopsie, almost forgot to include this here, but David also made an instructions version of this N1 that also has the ability to just have an astromech head fit in the back instead. Now, handling wise, Din Djarin's N1 does not depart much from the original version. These engines are in fact decently strong despite all the holes. I find myself maybe tweaking the greebles here and there sometimes, but other than that, it's swooshable and a casual model to grip and move around. This has even got the same display stand and attachment points as the original Seed model. And in terms of just hand feel, I really can't tell much of a difference between one model and the other. So there you have it for David's N1. Let me know what you think about this build in the comments below. What other types of creations you'd like to see us do in the future. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Brick Vault.